What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Liam Caddison here, but you already knew that. So I'm going to be doing a little Game of Thrones Season 6 kind of review, but it's really my thoughts about the whole season in general, because the season's now finished, and now we've got to wait 10 months until Season 7 comes, which is going to be a lot shorter as well, so... Uh, well, it's not really a lot shorter. The episodes might expand, but we're getting fewer episodes, so... Yay for me in terms of reactions! This is about season six of Gay of Thrones because um, I said in my Winds of Winter reaction that I thought that season six was probably the best Gay of Thrones season I've seen. And of course, I've seen all the seasons and whatnot. And I still stand by that because, you know, I think there was a lot of great moments with Game of Thrones this year. So I'm going to try and remember a lot of scenes from the top of my head. As everyone knows, I have a crap memory. So, uh, if I do miss out some important stuff that, you know, I basically love, then blame the brain, it needs to be updating. And if you guys have not seen Game of Thrones Season 6 yet, or if you're not caught up to it, please click off this video, because I'm I'm going to get hounded for spoilers if people continue watching it, and, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys get the idea. Just leave, move, 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 go! Okay, so now all the people who have not watched Season 6 yet, you are out the way because there's some pretty big spoilers this year um pretty big stuff happening this year obviously with Jon Snow coming back from the dead that was probably one of my best parts I mean obviously with the fangirl and reaction where I just go ah! um, <laughs> when as soon as Jon opens those eyes I just freaked out like I thought it would lead to the next episode but that was a great moment I really loved it especially when you know, everyone just gave up. Everyone just gave up and they were left in the room. And then Ghost noticing and then John's like... Uh, and everyone freaked out for that moment. That was brilliant. I am more of a fan of Arya Stark now. Uh, not just because she killed Walder Frey. That was good, but... Uh, <laughs> that's not the reason. But I think her character development has improved this year. Uh, I thought last year was a bit uh, for her. But this year has certainly turned up a notch. Especially when she was... Uh, especially when... She really had a lot of important scenes this year. I mean, especially when she was blind and then the wife uh, kept attacking her, kept abusing her, and it all paid out in the end because I know a lot of people hounded me for this because I wanted to see blood, but, um, you know, when she fought her in the dark and that, and obviously we didn't see it, but we knew what happened anyways. But yeah, but I, uh, I think she was was really valuable this season. Yeah, I really think Aya's uh, story has turned up a notch and now it's going to be even interesting. A lot of people are speculating that she will meet Melisandre because Melisandre has stated she will meet him, uh, she will meet him, she will meet her again, but we haven't seen that yet, so, and obviously with Melisandre exiled because, uh, because of her killing Shireen, you bad woman, um, the chance is there. But obviously Arya said she's got to go home and that, but who knows what can happen. This is Game of Thrones. Nothing is simplistic in storyline. I've got to say, Ramsay has... Oop, I'm dribbling a bit of copy there. Uh, Ramsay has definitely got to be my favourite villain. This, well, probably of all fiction. I know it's a close competition with Zoom. Zoom from The Flash. Zoom was just mega and awesome and I just loved his character so much. You know, Ramsay was brilliant, but also so was... Zoom as well, but Ramsey was just mega this year. I mean, killing his dad was really one thing, but then unleashing the dogs, which is pure ironic, by the way, for what happened at the end. Unleashing the dogs on his newborn baby brother and um, Walter, I think. Yeah, that was that just sealed the deal. I think I was just petrified, just just because I could see it in my head, and it was just painful. As well as hearing Walder screaming that, it, especially when you're unleashing the dogs at a freaking newborn baby, that's just savage. And, oh, especially when he killed Rickon as well, that was just devastating. But I am so glad the payoff turned out well for uh, Ramsay when he got beaten to death by John. Although I did want John to snap his neck, uh, neck, I think it made more sense for Sansa to kill him, especially with what uh, Sansa has endured under Ramsay's claw. Uh, obviously, I'm talking back to Season 5, uh, Episode 6, so I'm not going into that discussion because that just shell-shocked me. One thing I was surprised at, especially with the last episode, was we didn't get much of the White Walker development. We, You'd think after watching Hard Home that they would become more of a big presence, and I know they're going to become more of a big presence in, in Series 7, but I thought, especially at 
the winds of winter, you'd see them pass through the wall and that, but you didn't get, you didn't even see a glimpse of them. Uh, it seems like their big payoff was when they killed Hodor, uh, which that was one of the most devastating moments I've ever seen on television. And I've seen Face the Raven. You know, I'm not disappointed. I know they're going to have a big payoff in season seven and probably season eight, but. You know, I thought you'd see much of them, considering what I thought season 5 looked to be a bit of a prelude to what's going to happen for the rest of the season. Daenerys, it kind of got off to a bit of a sloppy start, I'll admit. Um, it wasn't really that massive, but um, by episode 4, she turned, it to, she turned it more interesting, especially when she arrived back in Marine and she was like, I'm gone for like two minutes. And you guys have fucked shit up now. But uh, Daenerys is going to get a lot more better. Especially now that she's invading Westeros. Holy crap. I thought that Marjorie was actually going to, I don't know, stab the High Sparrow in the back. But she really stayed devoted to, until the end, really. Which kind of surprised me a bit. But, uh, you know, I thought they it was a bit of a more progressive storyline this year. But... Yeah, I really loved King's Landing this year. Cersei, brilliant as usual. She was sadistic. She was broken by the uh, by the start of this year, especially with what she went through, and obviously for the majority of last season. But seeing her back in power now, see, it's going to be more interesting, especially with Daenerys coming, because now Daenerys is um, basically going to screw things up with her. I remember, I'm remembering what Robert said in season one. I think it was. Yeah, it was. Because Robert didn't survive past season one, obviously. But I'm remembering what he said. He kind of had a little bit of fear for the Targaryens invading Westeros. So now, with King's Landing pretty much screwed, and Jamie giving her the middle finger now, considering he, considering Cersei has just done what Jamie prevented the Mad King from actually doing, it, there's going to be a lot more tensions going on here. So Cersei's. While she's sitting on the throne now, she's got what she wanted, she's in a vulnerable position, I feel, and that is going to be mega. One of my favourite parts, though, has to be the flashbacks. I w I'm wanting more of that. I know it's not Arrow and whatever, but more flashbacks would be great, especially with seeing Rhaegar in flesh and that. That would be superb and that. Um, I don't think we're done with flashbacks, personally, but... I think we, I think more of them would be good. I know this year was about um, the Tower of Joy, which was brilliant. Uh, I loved it. It was, you know, it, it sat well on my heart, really. The uh, Tower of Joy thing, where you saw younger Ned and that fighting the t uh, Targaryen guys and that, um, and that was just brilliant. I thought the Winds of Winter flashback was just. Amazing, it was great for the reveal. Finally, we got the LNR theory confirmed, but oh, that I think the flashbacks were, were great, especially it gives it gave Bran a bit more character, of course. Um, but I'm hoping we see more of that ne uh, next year, especially with uh, more Robert's Rebellion thing. Because I think uh, here's the thing I've always said I've always wanted to see Robert's Rebellion. Um, detailed a bit more. I know I know a lot of great things like the Time War should not be explored too in depth than that, but it was great seeing the Mad King getting slain by Jamie, which I was surprised that with him di with him appearing actually, because I didn't think, oh, the Mad King's gonna appear in that at all. But you saw him uh, burn them all and then you saw Jamie stab him in the back. I thought, wow, that was just amazing. Um, but I'd love to see Rhaegar as well, especially Robert, younger Robert as well. I think that would be brilliant, but hopefully we get more flashbacks next year. We'll see what happens, uh, especially with the White Walker threat imminent. So, I don't think there's much to add really. I've had a little thought about it. Um, there's just a few more points. I'm just going to hurry it up because the lightning is not proving on my benefit side here. Um, Battle of the Bastards. Beautiful battle. I was nervous as you guys who've seen my reaction knew out because it was Game of Thrones. Anything could happen. I mean, John could have died easily. Um, the King's Landing incident um, in the Winds of Winter. That was brutal. I mean, I know Tommen's death was just like, what? Um, but yeah, that was 
the King's Landing thing was just, it was, it was massacre, it was just, damn. That's all you really have to say about it. Um, and I know a lot of people, I thought a lot, one of the surprising things though, Ollie's death, I, I think the reception was a bit more, well, damn. Uh, especially when you saw his corpse basically hung there. Uh, I know a lot of people say, it's a child getting hung, that's not really the most comfortable sight in the world, and obviously I was like, yeah, 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 because I was a dick. And I understand a lot of people say, yeah, but uh, he had a motive in that. And uh, yeah, I understand, obviously, but I still think he was a cunt. Um, and one final note, if you guys ever kill off Leanna Mormon, I will personally make your life a living hell. She's a certified badass. I just can't, I just can't get over how just awesome she is. Like, um, she's just amazing. She's like one. She's gonna be one of my favorite characters in season seven. I can guarantee it. Uh, two episodes in, just a badass, and she's only gonna get more badass. Uh, so yeah, that's it, really, guys. Game of Thrones season six. One of the best. I just loved every episode, really. I know a lot of people gave a bit of criticism over no one and that, but I really loved all the episodes, really. It's like Doctor Who. There wasn't really a bad episode apart from Sleep No More. That was like... Uh, uh, but, yeah, it was a really amazing season, and I really loved it. Favourite season of Game of Thrones, no doubt, and I can only expect Season seven's going to up the ante. Now we're pushing towards the end of Game of Thrones. I'm not going to cope with that. But uh, yeah, season six. Then, if you guys are watching, comment what you thought about season six. I know a lot of people loved season six. From what I saw on Reddit, there was a lot of people praising season six, and I can't blame them. But yeah, um, so I will leave you guys uh, right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another video because I've got Silverstone coming up, so I'm not going to be active for about a week or so. Uh, I will post a vlog probably about my time at Silverstone, but I'll probably leave you guys with something to watch. Maybe this, I'm not sure. So until then guys, subscribe to my channel, you you know what uh, what to do, just watch my videos, like my content, do anything, subscribe as well. I will see you guys next time. Toodles.